what is up YouTube welcome back to the nasty a channel thanks for stopping in today if you're new make sure you subscribe in the bottom corner but today we are going to be doing what well, we're going to be starting a full paint correction on the LBZ right here behind me is my single cab 2006 Duramax which is known as an LBZ Duramax I'm just going to give you a walk around, kind of show you what the paint looks like. Obviously, it looks pretty good, and uh, this lighting is going to help it look pretty good right now, but definitely dirty. I just want to do a walk around before we do a full paint correction, which I will go through all of the steps here in a few minutes with you. But first, we're going to have to wash it and get it ready to be buffed and waxed and uh, paint corrected. So let's see if we can get some of these scratches. This right here, decently scratched. It's really dull paint on the bed sides. Um, this is gonna be definitely where I put some attention to detail. Looks like someone had used it. Um, you know, maybe they had a tonneau cover on it or something. There's a good scratch right there some scratches here i just kind of want to walk around document this um some decent scratches right here definitely looks like someone took a uh, paint match like touch up paint to it i'm gonna see maybe we can wet sand that not sure yet just want to walk around and get some of the bigger scratches in the video that's definitely visible right there it's not deep i think this will definitely come out definitely a clean truck i just want to get it as clean as possible really and then we're going to throw a ceramic coating on it so stay tuned to this video i'm going to show you exactly what to do on a paint correction there's going to be some steps that maybe you guys don't need to do uh, maybe you guys want to try out um, if you're new to doing paint corrections or buffing and waxing so after this whole process we're going to do a video on how to ceramic coat your car uh, by yourself. Don't take it to a shop and spend thousands of dollars doing that. In this video, we're going to paint correct the Chevy. Next video, we're going to ceramic coat the Chevy. And uh, stay tuned because this thing is going to be looking glossy. All right, what we're going to do first is take a clay bar. Grab your clay bar and you're going to do this step while you're washing your car or truck. So you're just going to dip the clay bar in your soapy water and you want the surface to be wet. You can kind of see it's already wet and you're just gonna like let it slide on the surface. I mean, barely any pressure. You really don't have to work this into the paint or anything like that. Just make sure, you know, it's taking off. It'll take off little rust spots like that right there. Um, stuff like that. It'll make your paint feel really smooth afterwards. So you're just gonna take this to the entire surface and that'll get your paint ready to buff all right so i'm going to show you what i'm going to use first step is mcguire's 105 for the heavy cutting then 205 is going to be a polishing after that you can get both of these at harbor freight for actually you can get them at like auto parts stores but harbor freight sells them for a couple dollars cheaper so that's where i got them and then I'm going to use a, actually it's a Meguiar's um, microfiber heavy cutting pad with the 105. And then the 205, I'm going to use the um, Chemical Guys medium heavy cutting pad. It's actually a foam pad. I got a bunch of their foam pads last week. Uh, and it says, has an index here on the back, which one is the heaviest cut or the lightest cut. So I got a variety of those. I might try maybe a different one with the 205. Um, if I come up with a different one, I'll definitely let you guys know. That came with the polishing pad cleaner. Uh, I might use like halfway through if I think the pad is getting too uh, full of wax. And then all I'm using is literally a Porter Cable DA. You can buy this at like Lowe's, maybe Home Depot. Um, and then the Chemical Guys backing plate. These things are like a hundred bucks, maybe 120 bucks. I wouldn't recommend going and spending $500 on a, you know, professional polisher unless you're going to be doing this for a living or you're going to do this a lot. I mean, this is going to do the job for you. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Let's get started 
taping this Chevy off. Because if you get wax on anything like black plastic or this uh, bed liner, it's just going to turn it white and it's going to be really hard to clean off. Some tips to consider while you're polishing. So with the 105, 205 yellow pad or orange pad or microfiber pad, no matter what it is, you want to apply you know, about the same amount of pressure as this thing weighs. So a couple pounds of pressure. And you're just gonna move back and forth, working your way up and down the paint like this. And you're gonna overlap about half of the pad while you're doing that. So that's gonna ensure that everything gets covered with the uh, polishing pad. And then it's also just gonna make sure everything is an even shiny finish when you're done with it. So let's get to it. Oh yeah, and before you guys get started, um, make sure you're polishing in like one or two square foot sections. So what I would do is like a section like this right here. If you go any bigger than that, your wax is gonna start to dry and it's just not gonna work right. So guys we are back the next day I've done about three quarters of the truck um, with the Meguiar's 105 which I have sitting over here and I was using this pad and it just started to kind of ruin itself it was already an old pad and sometimes this is just what happens so I switched over to the chemical guys yellow which is the heavy cut pad and it seems to be doing just as good as of a job as the uh, microfiber pad we've cut this whole side of the truck all of the hood i made it about the whole bed with the microfiber pad and then i had to start using the yellow pad from chemical guys but did the whole hood the whole roof need to do this fender still the other fender as well and then this door and bedside and then we will move on to the Meguiar's 205 with the Chemical Guys orange pad. So stay tuned. I'm a little bit more motivated today, so we're gonna get some music going and uh, try to get this thing done today. Then we'll get some uh, ceramic coating on it. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Should be a good one. Once you get your orange pad on, we're gonna take the Meguiar's 205. Make sure you shake it up pretty good. This stuff is gonna be a little thinner than the 105, so you're just gonna want about five drops on your pad, just like that. And then we are going to apply it to the paint and then turn up the, so we're gonna start it on one and then we're gonna turn it up to six and then we'll start polishing. So this is what I like to do, just kind of move it around like this. You'll turn it on one, speed one, just to even it out like that, we're going to ramp it up to six and get to polishing. All right, guys, I'm finally done with the second step after about, I would say, probably three days of work, probably five hours each day. I'm done with the whole truck with the Meguiar's 105 and 205, the first step and second step. So, yeah, this is not something that you're just gonna get done in an afternoon. You can definitely make it look better if you go quick, but it's not gonna be the correct way. So we did the walk around in the beginning of the video. I'm just gonna walk around again. I don't know if I pointed this out in the first video. There was a pretty good scratch. You can see a dent but it's really hard to see the scratches there. So that came out really well. Just gonna walk around here. I mean, everything is just real shiny. So the next step is going to be taking all of the tape off and then we're gonna clean it with isopropyl alcohol and the best microfiber you can find. I mean, you want to use, this is the microfiber you wanna spend money on. So I got some, you know, $10 microfibers up here and that are clean. They're kind of in a pile up there, but they are clean. They're brand new. 
and I'm going to wipe this whole thing down with isopropyl alcohol to get all the dried up wax off of the paint. And then if you are doing, if you don't do a ceramic coating, this is when you would apply your wax or protectant or sealant. But in my next video, I'm going to do a ceramic coating. So make sure you stay tuned to Nasty Nate for the ceramic coating how-to. But I hope this uh, was helpful to anyone that has never polished or paint corrected anything like this or done anything like this or whatever. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments and stay tuned to Nasty Nate. We have some badass ceramic coating going on this truck next actually sponsored by avalon king so make sure you stay tuned we'll see you in the next one